good, good. <laughs> let's let's begin because you're obviously playing not only a real human being, but you're also playing somebody also played by Colin. So how how do you balance that? Um, well, I mean, you know, I certainly the first time I read the script was acutely aware that this wasn't a character that some writer had come up with in their bedroom. You know, this was a real man and a real person and someone's life we're dealing with. And, uh, you know, in, in a, uh, there was a certain responsibility that comes with that. Um, I think, you know, in terms of me and Colin, you know, we, we spent a bit of time rehearsing and, you know, he kind of was very, very generous and let me kind of into his process. And, you know, we rehearsed in his living room and was kind of coming up with, yeah, Eric, there's a, there's a real vulnerability about Eric, you know, which, you know, when I was privileged enough to get to know him and, you know, this is just, a, you know, he's a train, he was a train spotter or a railway enthusiast, as he liked to say, and, uh, you know, it was, it was actually kind of a very vulnerable, isolated young man. And then he's thrown into the most horrific circumstances imaginable. And I think there's something very moving about that. So we wanted to get that kind of... A slightly kind of, I guess, nerdy kind of train spotterish kind of mannerism into his voice. So we spent a lot of time working on that, and then, you know, and then also I, w I wanted that transition between Colin and me to be smooth and for it not to be distracting. because we flick back and forward. So uh, <laughs> I spent a bit of time doing my best Colin Firth impression, and uh, you know, it's uh, in the end just took a few little mannerisms just so that they could, uh, you know, just transition between the two. Yeah. And your choice of roles. I mean, you're you pick all sorts of variety of roles is there any sort of plan to that or is there a plan jeez <laughs> i don't know no you know what if i read a script that moves me i'll chase it you know it's uh, it's it's difficult and you know sometimes scripts come to your way and your agent is kind of you know phoning you every day telling you what an amazing opportunity is but you know if it doesn't move you and it doesn't make you shiver when you finish reading it you know there's nothing better than finishing the last page of a script and just going, oh, man, like, what, you know, like, and it really moves you. And that's, um, I don't know, it's, it, it's difficult to put your finger on. And some things do it, some things don't. Um, you know, I, I've always been kind of wary of doing, like, the kind of, maybe the, the more teen franchise movies. And then I read a script recently that just, I just loved and was fantastic. And, you know, just kind of had that real emotional integrity. And, uh, a friend of my agent said, look, this is really cool, let's, let's look into this. And then later on found out that it was a young adult series and stuff. So it's, uh, yeah, it's difficult. You, you, you just you go with what, what moves you, I guess, yeah. Marvellous. Thank you very much, very much. Jeremy. Thank you, man. Thanks for your time.